here with Tom Amos in the Saratoga Clubhouse. Uh, morning report, he's out uh, here almost every single day sitting up here watching the horses work out in the morning. I gotta ask you, you have horses um, running at Indiana, Ellis, here. What are your plans for the summer? Well, first of all, I got the best view in the house. I'm right, right against the rail here. Uh, I get to watch all my horses train. In between sets, I can do a little work, plan on entries and what we're doing in the upcoming days. Uh, but to answer your second half of the question and what we're doing, uh, our plans of the summer, is we've always split up between Indiana and, and here with some horses at Churchill Downs that'll go either to Indiana or to Saratoga, depending on how they're doing. Uh, so this is, this is normal for us. You had a, a nice horse in your barn, Little Tootsie, a black type winner last time out. I uh, saw the horses back on the work tab up here at Saratoga. What's the plan with that horse and where is it pointed? You know, remarkably, Little Tootsie's first black type win was the other day. I mean, and she has been really good to us. So uh, that was well deserved and well earned. And um, it creates value for her off the racetrack for her owner, Joel Pleedy, who is a breeder. Uh, so that that's really good news. Um, our plans are to consider running up here. Uh, there's a stake race for her going, um, uh, you know, some distance in mid-August that we'll be looking at for her here. Uh, but we're not going to exclude, you know, any races that are around the country that are black type as well. When you get these kinds of horses, you want to be able to leave your options open. In terms of two-year-olds, anything that you're really excited about coming up here for Saratoga Meet? Well, we had a great. Uh, spring and early summer with our two-year-olds so I, I don't want to leave anybody off the list but we'll start with the girls uh, so promise of hope is a go sapper filly that's one uh, one first time out at Churchill Downs and, and is here at Saratoga actually she'll probably breeze tomorrow and we'll look to this uh, stake race mid-August for the two-year-old fillies for her uh, holiday decision is at Churchill Downs but she's also another one that ran very well for us at Churchill Downs and we'll either consider running here or perhaps Ellis Park uh, in their stake, uh, the Ellis Park debutante, uh, which is again in mid-August. And then I don't want to leave anybody off, but we have some young ones that we really like that are coming up in the uh, main race. Well, thank you for your time and good luck with the meet. Thank you. Here with Jimmy Bond on his private barn just outside the Saratoga Gate, Nelson Gate. Uh, Jimmy, 2020, 2022 Saratoga meet, what are you most excited about? Uh, we got some nice young horses that are doing pretty well, okay? You know, uh, it's always nice to be back uh, here at home, okay, for us. This is our home base. We we're here uh, from the middle of April, roughly, weather permitting, till November 1st or so. And, um, you know, we have our own private barn, and it's probably home field advantage a little bit, I guess I'd say. And um, we're, uh, you know, we're, we got some nice horses, and just got to get them in the right spots. Can you tell me a little bit about your operation? You guys have Song Hill, which is a farm, your own personal farm, not too far from here. Plus, you have this private barn here. Can you tell me about how the operation works? Well, the, the <clears throat> Song Hill farm is about 15 minutes from here, just over Saratoga Lake. And it's the feeder. Uh, sometimes horses just need a break. Young horses are there. And like, we can kind of keep an eye on everything. We live there, so I get to see the horses every day. Uh, before I leave and when I get back in the afternoon or evening to just kind of look at horses. Some horses, they run really hard. We'll take them out there for a few days, maybe a week. Just give them a little bit of a break, uh, back to nature, I call it. Um, just getting back in the country and uh, where they started. And uh, it works pretty well for us. Uh, you guys breed your own horses in-house, correct? We do. And then any two-year-olds that are coming up from that breeding that you're really excited about? We do. We have a few that are doing well. Um, I hate to give names off right off the bat because it's usually the kiss of death. Tomorrow morning they'll buck a shin or something crazy or whatever and I'll have to stop on them. But we have a few. So if you see something running during this meet, they're probably pretty well meant. Okay, they're doing good because I don't leave a lot of two-year-olds over in the, the summer uh, unless they're really ready to go. Last question for you. You know, you're one of the one of the trainers here that's focused on partnerships, and you you really do a great job of, of getting your owners involved. How special is it for Saratoga for owners to get a win up here? Everything, everything in the world. I mean, it just um, you know, I, I think I think some owners would probably pay twenty, thirty thousand just to win a race here. I'm not exaggerating. Um, it's just everything. We have some great partnerships, okay, that we started a few years back, and the people are just excited, okay, just to be in the uh, winner's circle, to be in the paddock. You know, meet the jockeys, okay? It's just, and Saratoga special. It's just, um, everybody brings their A game, okay? And it's just a lot of fun. And like I say, these, we have a bunch of new owners, okay, that are experiencing it for the first time. And it's just nice to see their um, their smile that we put on their face, win, lose, or draw. Well, good luck with the meet. We appreciate it. Thank you. 
here with Orlando Noda, uh, barn 14 on the back stretch. Orlando, what are you most excited about for the 2022 Saratoga meet? Overall, I just getting the owners win pictures and overall having a successful meet. It's uh, it's the thrill of the game that this is the elite elite meet to uh, to win a race. It's, uh, it's a privilege and a, and a blessing at the same day. You've done pretty well in the claiming game. Are you looking to claim some horses while you're up here and expand the barn? Every day there's a claiming race worth throwing tickets. It's the luck of the draw that you win the shake at the end of the day. It's every horse that's worth it has 10 and 12 and 17 white shakes on them. Speaking of two-year-olds, anything on the two-year-old side that you have coming up that you're excited about? So we debuted one in, uh, in uh, Belmont. Uh, he's planning to run August 4th, uh, Jackson Heights. He's a uh, New York bred two-year-old. I don't have much stock as two-year-old. I have uh, four horses, uh, five two-year-olds. But other than that, I think he's going to be the one that's going to uh, run here. Size of the barn up here. Are you looking to grow the barn? What, what do you? How many horses did you bring up with you to Saratoga? So yeah, so here in Saratoga we got a, we got a, a lot of twenty four stalls. Uh, we have twenty two in training right here, two to open claims, and uh, have nine back at Belmont. Then last question for you, uh, Montauk Daddy, been a, been a, a workhorse in your barn. Um, horses up here training, training well. Where's appointed? Yeah, so uh, the horse runs turf and dirt, so. Uh, I think the next step is going to be the the non to allowance uh, July 29th, going five and a half on the turf, and we're running both ways. Love to hear it. Good luck on the meet. Thanks, sir.